Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'm gonna do it all for you. Come along and see us. Hey there guys, welcome back for another episode of Benji's Vlogs. Thanks for clicking on the video. Hope everyone's having a great day, great night, depending on where you are in the world. We are at the old, we're actually a little bit further up from the old Truganana Cemetery that we filmed not long ago. We are now at the old abandoned house that is sitting right on the corner of Woods Road and Doldy's Road. The place has been abandoned for about a year or two now, uh, simply because the developers are coming through with the new housing estates. Basically buying up all the houses that are in the area, demolishing them and then just building new houses straight on the top. Which is a bit of a sad thing because they only offer $20,000 if not that to the place of people and sometimes if they decline they basically tell them to F off. Which is a sad thing. Um, I will basically let you guys see the house. This is the first time I'm seeing inside the house. I've seen the outside of the house plenty of times because I used to drive past it every every day. But um, this is going to be the first for both of us to look inside the house. So without further ado, you guys, let's go. What a waste. Just walked up to the house. It's right there. And there's all these books sitting around. All could have been donated to a school or something. Oh, look. Look at this. Super Dazzlers. Still in the original buddy wrapping. Wrap it up. Cooking book. Look. Even anatomy. Still in the original packaging. been left there abandoned for not even a year and you know there's clothes thrown thrown all over the place the walls have been ripped off the friggin off the support beams this used to be the old school back in the 90s or the 80s and um, this is probably the main sort of area as you can see behind me that's the old kitchen everyone's been ripped out an old corner that's all just been bloody shredded up and it probably used to be an old fireplace here yeah. old bloody thing up there now i'm gonna have a look in the back rooms holes kicked in there graffiti on the windows some sort of paint see up there. You, know, you can tell when someone's been watching way too many paranormal shows is when you go into a room there's a whole heap of flies that usually means there's a demon around or something but it smells fine in here there's no well, it smells like rotten eggs basically I means sulfur but you know that's crazy the amount of flies that are sitting over there at the moment guys is freaking nuts Alright, moving on. Put the space up to the attic. Even more flies. Old computer chip sitting right there. Old jacket, work boot. Oh, what was it? 
aspect of the scene there. But I was going to see like a body or something hanging up, like out of the re one of the Resident Evil movies that you see. Body hanging up and the tons of flies sitting around. I was expecting to see that. Old toilet. This used to be in there. Going into the uh, master bedroom. That uh, looks like an old medical sort of chair that you'd uh, have your uh, like uh, replacement hips, knees, or whatever, bad back. You'd sit on that because it uh, lets you sit at a certain height. Um, so there's a sort of being at a 90 degree angle with the hips, knees. Helps you be able to get out of uh, the seat. And uh, yeah, it's interesting. Still plenty of flies in here guys, I just had a blow fly gleam right on me. That's why I was reacting. More oh, flies. It's like a hatching bird flying, you know? Oh, look, an old razor blade. I'm talking to one that you shave your face with. Oh, stinking hot me guys. Stinking ruddy hot. Derelict it's become now in the last bloody couple of years, two years I'd say. There's all new housing estates going around it, so you know they buy up the land and let everything just run, run its course, demolish it, whatever. It's a bit of a sad thing. there too. There's tons of graffiti. Not sure what that is though. Looks like an old TV cabinet of some sort. It's like something that's just a safety boots on at the moment. And there's one good reason why I've got the safety boots on. It's because of stuff like this. Nails. I'm lucky, pretty lucky because I had a tetanus shot recently and um, I'm not going to worry about too much of that. I've just got to keep clean. But, uh, there's nuts on how much rubbish is around though. And as always, 
Ready flies. Looks like an old family used to live here. All the couple of four looks. Sad to see that um, uh, developing, developers decide to basically, you know, say, we'll give you $20,000 for the house for you to get your just basic stuff and get out. Sometimes if they decline, they get kicked out, which is a very sad thing to see happen. Kind of looks like this used to be an old couple's house. There's tons of shoes, tons of books, tons of games out there that haven't been opened yet. I'm not going to take any of that because, you know, I don't promote stealing. And, you know, that stuff is something I don't need anyways. I've got enough books and that at home. So, you know, this is basically it really. It's not much else to see. Um, I am basically need to get out of here because I'm, as you can tell, I'm sweating like a bush pig at the moment. So, thought I'd just come and have a look in here because I knew it was abandoned. And, um, yeah. It's sad to see though, a whole heap of stuff just thrown all over the place. Yeah, so this is exactly what I mean guys, is they just basically chucked everything out. Old beds, old bloody couches, looks like an old evaporative cooler of some sort that just sit on the ground. Old fridge or freezer or something just there. Old oil canisters. And there's a pile of books and that over there. As I said, guys, I'm not going to touch any of that. There's no point in stealing, because you know, it's still someone's property. I'm not going to steal anything from here. I don't promote it, so don't do it. But I suppose I can't really tell you what to do. Can't control you. So if you want to come in and graffiti places, steal stuff, no, that's all on you. But, you know, I'm about to get out of here, guys. I've uh, basically covered everything here. I didn't feel anything gooey in there, so it, uh, I don't think it's haunted or anything like that. So I'll uh, have a, I'll go over this with a thorough brush, and um, yeah, we'll go from there, guys. See you back at the car. Well, guys, we just made it back to the car. We're uh, gonna go home, rest up a little bit because we are absolutely stuffed. Got a fly in the car from inside the house. A rascal friggin' followed me as always. The flies love me, women hate me. <laughs> and it's not because I'm a pig, guys. It's because I'm a big boy. Anyways, guys, that's the house. That's the Explore. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as me filming it because I tell you what, guys, I'm starting to get a bug for these Explore videos. But uh, as I said in one of the live streams or one of the other videos that I've done, I don't want to make this channel based on Explore videos, paranormal videos. It's basically every style of video that you can think of. There it is. Off you go, 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 go. Finally got the fly out. Ah, oh, son of a gun. He came, just came back in. It's one of those little baby ones. Don't know what it's doing. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did filming. Until the next time, guys, keep it easy.